the helping hand with him he played with the steely, steely spear boost give me the ko on the incineroar screw you incineroar let's go screw you your intimidate what's going on guys cisco here back with some more vgc dub battles and today we're continuing our grind through regulation g and this time with a steely spirit berserker plus a zacian heat rant and a hydreigon shout out to beach Fiend for the suggestion if you guys want me to showcase one of your favorite Pokemon or just any Pokemon you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and let me know what Pokemon you'd like me to build a team around. Or if you guys have some cool teams that you've built yourself and want me to showcase them here on the channel, drop your reticles down below and let me know. Now, today we're going to be showcasing Steely Spirit alongside some Steel types. So what Steely Spirit does is it gives a boost to allies Steel types moves. Meaning our Behemoth Blade on Zacian, Flash Cannon on Heatran and Hydreigon will always be boosted as long as Berserker is next to them. This is pretty cool due to how common fairy types are in the meta and just the fact that steel hits most things for neutral damage so we're always going to be doing some good damage so berserker is here just for support and staying on this field for as long as possible it's got fake out protect iron head and helping hand next up on the roster is the legend zacian zacian i'll probably say both of them throughout the whole video so <laughs> i'm sorry now i'm pissed i wasn't able to get my hands on the shiny during the GameStop distribution event. So we're just using a regular one here. Pretty annoying, but it is what it is. But this thing is a beast. It has Intrepid Sword, which allows it to gain a plus one in attack every time it comes out onto the field. And it has the Rusted Sword as its item in order to change into its crown form, which makes it a steel and fairy type. It's got Iron Head, which will turn into Behemoth Blade, Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Trust me, this thing will hit like a truck, especially next to Berserker. Next up, we got Hydreigon, and I wanted to incorporate a Pokemon that wasn't necessarily a Steel-type, but still benefited from having a Steel-type move. And Hydreigon being quad weak to Fairy, Flash Cannon is a very nice coverage move for it. On top of that, Flutters typically survive a Flash Cannon from Hydreigon, so we're hoping that with this Steely Spirit boost, it'll be able to pick up that one-hit KO on those Flutter mains. Now, next up is Heatran, who also benefits from the Steely Spirit with Flash Cannon. Now, Heatran here is a really good choice as it has Flash Fire. And my Berserker and my Zacian are both weak to fire type moves. So Heatran will be a very nice safe switch into these fire type moves. Um, as, on top of that, we are extremely weak to ground with this team. So we've given Heatran Grass Terra Terra Blast in order to help us out with those ground types. Next up is Tornadus for that speed control and also to help us with our massive weakness to fighting types with Bleak Wind Storm. And finally, we got Wellspring Overpod again. Again, for those ground type moves and just overall a really strong Pokemon on the team. To be honest, one of the coolest teams I've built and we're hoping it thrives on the casual ladder. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and are joining the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. But now, let's get rolling with this Steely Spirit Berserker and Zacian team and try to get some dubs. All right, we got a battle against Alarm and they've got a Zacian as well. But they don't got a Steely Spirit Berserker. So, I wonder if they leave the fake out with Incineroar. I might just get- I might just want to get up Tailwind. I'll go Tornadization, bring Berserker in the back, and then finish things off with maybe Hydreigon. Hydreigon or maybe Heatran? I think I prefer the Heatran. No... I think Hydreigon is better. Yeah, let's go Hydreigon. Oh, they could intimidate my Zacian. Yeah, I don't really love the intimidate on the Zacian here. Do we think they leave the Incineroar? Probably. So let's go Heatran. Let's lead Heatran and then we'll close out with Zacian. I don't want to have to take that Intimidate with Zacian and then go back to just neutral. I want to keep my plus one from Intrepid Sword. That's pretty dope. That's a dope picture. All right, what you got, Alarm? Zacian and Incineroar. And they have the shiny one, damn it. They have the shiny one. The one I wanted. 
so they're gonna get the intimidate here um they probably look to just fake out my my heat ramp probably so we're just gonna protect it just to avoid the fake out damage and they could be running sacred sword and that would hurt so let's protect set up our tailwind we'll be able to outspeed next turn and we'll get moving from there if they pick up the ko on tornadus i'm okay with that i can come in with either zation or uh berserker and just start ripping from there all right come on let's go let's let's, let's, let's speed it up let's speedy it up and see what you're gonna go for So we already got Steely Spirit working with Hydreigon. I really needed to work with Zacian though. I want to see how much is Behemoth Blade next to Steely Spirit can actually do. And they're going to burn Terra. Probably the Zacian, yeah. Into straight water. Okay, we can Terra Blast that. Do we burn Terra? Do we burn Terra on our Heat Ran here? I think maybe, right? And they're going to pick up my Tornadus. That's perfectly fine. We're Cover Cloak. We're going to get our Tailwind up. We're going to be able to outspeed next turn. And I think I might just go for... Yeah, they do have Sacred Sword. I think I have to go for the Terror Blast. <laughs> I think the Terror Blast is a must. We'll go Bleak Wind and then we'll go... Grass Terra Terror Blast. Yeah, let's go. Let's just rip into the Zacian. We do need to look to get rid of the Incineroar. But we have Sacred Sword and Play Rough for that. I'd actually be curious to see how much a Behemoth Blade next to Berserker actually does to an Incineroar. Imagine it picks up the one hit KO. I doubt it, but imagine. All right, we're going to Terrasa Sahi right here into Grass. They might be going for Protect here. And if they do, that's fine. They don't protect. So Bleak went double connects. Chips up into both of them. And then he runs gonna go for Terra Blast and just get rid of this thing, right? He ran, you let me down. Sacred Sword's gonna come out here. Gonna do around half damage. And then he's gonna parting shot. He ran, you let me down. Zacian is so tanky. Damn. Super effective Terra Blast didn't pick up the KO. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. And they're going to come into Shen Pao. I mean, we outspeed. So I'm okay giving them my... My Heat Ran here. If they want to take my Heat Ran, that's fine. We outspeed regardless. And they'd have to double protect. Sucker Punch doesn't get rid of my... My... My Heat Ran. Bleak Wind, I need you to connect here on the Shen Pao. Of course you miss. And of course he outspeeds. Dude... You've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Just wow. Wow. We're going to bleak wind and we're going to fake out. Yeah, let's pick out the Shen Pao. Wow, we missed the Bleak Wind on the Shen Pao. And that thing ends up outspeeding us. Wow. Just wow. This game, man. This game really does you in sometimes. Really just pushes those buttons. But we're still we're still not looking bad. I mean, we fake out the Shen Pao. And then we outspeed the Zacian with. Tornadus. Hopefully we land double bleak win. 
They were looking good. They might just even protect the Shenpao. And they're taking so damn long. They could have withdrawn the Zacian, actually. It's Incineroar. Okay, I don't mind that. I do not mind that. My Berserker is here just for... You took that long to do that? A swap and a protect? Like, you've got to be kidding me. Jesus. Come on, Bleakman. At least connect on the Shenpa. I mean, on the Incineroar. All right, nice. Barely does any damage, though. Tailwind is up. And then now we just go for... We go for Tailwind, and then we go for Protect. Keep my Berserker here. Come in with my Zacian, and look to rip into both of these guys. I wonder if this Shen Pao has Sacred Sword. If this Shen Pao has Sacred Sword... I mean, we still... It's not like we lose, guaranteed, but... Kind of rough. And we're going to be able to set up a Tailwind. So we're going to have speed control for the next four turns. So we're not looking too bad. I think Zacian can come and sweep here. And Sura's going to fake out to my Berserker. That's fine. We're going to set up a Tailwind. Get that speed control once again. And then they probably go Ice Spinner into Tornadus, right? Yeah. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Now we get to come in with Zacian here. Intrapistor is going to activate. Going to give us that plus one. This was tough. I think we just Sacred Sword into the Incineroar. And then... Iron Head into the Shen Pao. Again, I don't think Shenpao can pick up the KO here. I doubt Shenpao can pick up the KO. And they might actually just swap out the Incineroar here. But it's fine. We get a free Sacred Sword into, into that slot. Damn, this one's tough. And the bad thing is that Shenpao has his Focus Ash still. So we need to break that Focus Ash. This guy takes forever. Like, like forever, forever. Of course, they would draw the Incineroar. Into Zacian. So they're going to sack Zacian. That's fine. And they're going to protect the Shenpao. Okay, I don't mind that at all, actually. We're going to get rid of the Zacian. Incineroar's gonna come back out here. Gonna get the Intimidate off, which kind of sucks. And they're gonna go for the Fake Out. Yeah, there's Incineroar. So we just don't protect here. That's fine. Just don't protect. Do you think they double? Do you think they double the Zacian? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see. They might be doubling the Zacian. Fake out and like a Sacred Sword into it. If we're able to land this Iron Head onto the Shen Pao, we get rid of its Focus Ash. They probably protect next turn. Yeah, Fake Out goes into the Zacian. Show me the Shen Pao doubles into the Zacian, please. Beautiful. They don't have Sacred Sword. They don't have Sacred Sword. Iron Heart is not going to do much here. Never mind, it did half. That's half damage. I don't think they have... Ah, this is tough. Now, do they have the Fluttermane in the back? Because if we Sacred Sword into that slot, 
and they swap into the flutter main that's kind of rough could go for the behemoth blade but i don't know if that picks up the ko I see them protecting the Shen Pao. So I'm just gonna go helping and behemoth blade into the into the Incineroar. Show me protect. Huge read right there. Huge read. Helping hand behemoth blade with the Steely, Steely Spirit boost. Give me the KO on the Incineroar. Screw you, Incineroar. Let's go. Screw you and your intimidate. Critical A to hit. Didn't matter. I don't think. Critical did not matter. I don't think it mattered. Steely Spirit, Helping Hand Boost. I don't think it mattered. Oof, we've come back from this battle. Oh my goodness. And it's going to be the Dragon Knight. They don't have Terra anymore. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to protect the Zacian. And I'm going to go for an Iron Head onto the Shen Pao. Look to pick up that KO. After that, it's 1v1. Zacian versus... Dragonite should be pretty easy. Come on. They're gonna taunt. Shen Pao with taunt? Let's go, boys. Oh my goodness. Huge reads. I heard onto the Shen Pao. Berserker getting into the action and picking up some KOs here. Oh, that's a huge KO. Yo, we're out playing this guy. Guess what? Behemoth Blade. We can't go for a helping hand, so we're going to go for Iron Head. How much are we doing? Show me the damage. -hoo -hoo! Behemoth Blade just straight one-shotting a Dragonite. What a game. What a comeback. GG's. Alarm. Very well played. GG's. All right. We got Tony with a, ooh, a spicy little... Kyogre with Drizzle, and then you got the Expanding Force Iron Crown. All right, let's focus up. Let's get this dub. Let's finish off strong. So, weather is going to be a problem. We have no way of controlling that. I think we just go Berserker and Zacian. Look to rip as much damage as we can. Turn one. Bring Hydreigon and bring Golgopon. Ooh, but the Tailwind looks kind of rough here. I think we might need Tailwind, you know? I don't know. This one's tough. I think we have to leave Tornadus, get a Tailwind up. I do like Hydreigon here. I do like the Ogre Pond, and I do like the Zacian. I think we're going to have to leave Berserker behind. We'll leave Berserker behind for this one. Berserker, you've done amazing with Steely Spirit. You can, you help us do so much damage. But you're going to have to sit this one out. We need Ogre Pond for the Water Absorb. Um, we need Tornadus for the Tailwind to get Speed Control. And then Zacian and Hydreigon are going to do super effective damage onto everybody here. So I think these are the best four we can have. Going to be Kyogre and Tornadus. They're gonna set up rain. We're probably just gonna go tailwind for tailwind. I could fish for the dark pulse flinch, or I could just go for the Draco. I'm just gonna fish the dark pulse flinch. Kyrogre is just gonna protect, that's fine. I could have nasty plotted. I could have taunted as well. Couple options. And we're just gonna go tailwind for tailwind. Dark pulse is gonna get blocked. I mean now we just bleak wind and uh and dark pulse, right? Or we could just Draco. I don't mind Draco Meteor. Now, this thing could be rocking Ice Beam, but Kyogre isn't fast, I believe. Kyogre's pretty slow. Kind of... Let me double check real quick. 
Um, he's speed tied with Hydreigon, I think. He might have Ice Beam. I'm not going to burn Terra. I'm just going to go for the Draco here. They are going to burn Terra. Hydreigon is base 90 speed, and I think um, Kyogre is base 90 speed as well. So they're both speed tied. They're just going for the Water Spout, I think. Bleak Wind double connects. We're in the rain, obviously, so... Do we get any speed drops? Oh, we get the speed drop on Kyogre. That's huge. Air Bleak Wind does so much more damage. That's dumb. Draco connects. How much damage are we doing to the Kyogre? Not bad damage. Not bad damage. And Water Spout is going to come out here. Does this pick up KOs? We both survived. That's huge. My Tornadus here is outspeeding, so we go for Bleak Wind, and we're just going to go for... So we go another Draco into this guy? I mean, Hydreigon dies out here. Because that Tornadus outspeeds my Hydreigon. They might just protect, actually. But that's fine. If they protect Kyogre, that's fine. They're going to withdraw it. That's fine. Ogre Pond. Why are we going to Ogre Pond? You're going to take a super effective Bleak Wind here. You're going to take massive damage. And the speed drop. Tornadus. Let's go. And then they're going to go for Bleak Wind. Pick up the double KO. Listen. That's perfectly fine. Because now we come in with Zacian. And we come in with our own Ogre Pond. And this is looking to be wraps. Zacian should be outspeeding here every day of the week. We're going to go for the Horn Leech into the Ogre Pond slot and then just Behemoth Blade into Tornadus. Safe play. And after that, I think it's done. I think it's GG's. They're going to wish for the Ogre Pond. Please come back in with Kyogre. Please. Oh, the Incense. Incense rough. Gonna put me down to regular attack. We're gonna get rid of the Tornadus. But listen, both of our Tailwinds are gone. So my Zacian is gonna be the fastest thing on this field. And so is my Ogre Pond, I think. And yeah, Ogre Pond outspeeds their whole team as well. And right here, we double protect. It's fine. Listen, buddy, this plan is foolproof. We double protect right here. Spiky shield. And protect. Let's just see what they want to go for here. They might even want to swap the Incineroar. Get another Intimidate off. But if they do that, we just take their Pokemon for free. I do have to be careful, though, with the... With the Ivy Cudgels. There's the fake out. So, I predict. My humble prediction. They have Ice Beam. They might be going for a swap on the Incineroar. Come in with... Ooh, this is tough. Listen, this Kyogre doesn't do anything. I'm not scared of this Kyogre. I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm not scared of this Kyogre. Do we Behemoth do we Sacred Sword? Let's go Sacred Sword. Because they might swap the Incineroar for Ogre Pawn. Yeah, let's double the Incineroar. They don't swap. The Incineroar takes massive damage from Sacred Sword. Oh, they have a berry. Only going to come out here. Not going to do enough damage. Can Zacian soak a Flare Blitz here? 
They just go for parting shot. Oh my goodness, they threw. They're actually just throwing. Because Behemoth Blade is going to do massive damage regardless. I think. It's going to be Ogre Pond. And I think it is low to the point where it's going to die out. So we're going to Horleach the Kyogre. And just Behemoth the Ogre Pond. Or do I go for Sacred Sword, Play Rough? I'll go for a Play Rough. We are minus one now. I'm scared we miss. I'm scared of the miss. You know what? Safe play, I think, is Ivy Cudgel into the Kyogre. And play rough into the Ogre Pond. Of course you're withdrawing this, the... I thought he would swap the Kyogre here. He's gonna get another Intimidate off. And he protects Kyogre. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Listen, they're just swapping in Intimidates. Play rough connects. Incineroar survives on 1 HP. Listen, all your Intimidate swapping, it's cool and all, but you're not really doing anything. We're gonna Spiky Shield, and we're just gonna protect. Even if you swap out Incineroar here, but you're not gonna swap out Incineroar. Just gonna go for a Fake Out. Yeah, we win. We win all, all day. Because we just Horn Leech the Kyogre. That's going to do super effective damage. That should pick up the KO. And then this is in, this Incineroar is slow enough where anything will hit it. We'll, we'll KO it. So yeah, let's go Horn Leech. And we just go... Let's go Bohemian Blade. Yeah, there's the Withdraw on the Incineroar. So this guy's going to take Behemoth Blade damage on the Ogre Pawn. It's going to be resisted. It's not going to do much. We're minus two or three, I think, now. How much are we doing? Jesus. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Intimidates are helping him out, but... There's really nothing he can do. Slowly but surely, we're going to chip him up. And they're at an HP where they're too low enough to even take any hits. Like, look, the Incineroar is going to come out. They're going to put fake out pressure. So we just double protect. And then we both have speed the following turn. And they're both low enough where anything can get rid of. Horn Leech onto the Ogre Pond and Bohemian Blade onto the Incineroar. That's done. It's GG's. So, decent attempt. Whole bunch of intimidating. But regardless, we still come up on top here. So, yeah, we Spiky Shield. We protect. Waste out the fake out turn. And then the following turn we go Behemoth Blade into the Incineroar. And then Horn Leech onto the Ogre Pond. And that's going to be GG's. They should have looked to swap into a Ivy Cudgel into one of the slots. Battle's canceled. Nice. GG's. Oof, what a game. All right. We've got a battle against Andrew. And oh my goodness. Shadow Rider Calyrex is just the vein of my existence. I played one earlier today. And it just swept my team. So... I'm scared. We're going to go Tornadus. We're going to go Hydreigon. They definitely bring the Okie Dogie here. Maybe even the Chiyu. Do they bring the Chiyu? I don't know, man. This this one's tough. Like They have the fire and the fighting type, which we just get obliterated by. Do I bring Heran? I don't think so. I think maybe we just go Berserker. But... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Damn, I actually have no idea here. I think I'm gonna go Berserker, though. Even though Flash Fire Heatran looks really good there. Okie dokie takes care of it. 
Iron Bondo has Hydro Pump for it. It doesn't eat a natural barrage. I mean, we have Focus Ash, so we could have eaten an Ash Barrage. But no, nah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll stick with Berserker. Oh, Lord. Calyrex and Tornadus. Okay. We'll match Tailwind. I am pretty sure. So the last Calyrex I played, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, had Fairy Terra Draining Kiss. Do we read that and go for Terra Flash Cannon? Should it be adventurous? Because what if they just go for Astro Barrage? Screw it. Let's go. They're terrestrializing. Okay, hold up. Did we just outplay them? It is the horsey. Into fairy. Please. Please. This is where Berserker here would have been huge. Because we would have the Steely Spirit damage boost. But listen, if we can chip this thing up, I'm happy. I'm happy. We can jointly take care of this thing. So we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. I believe, right? Yeah, Tailwind for Tailwind. And they should be going for a Draining Kiss here. Okay, we both survive. Whew. Flash Cannon comes out here. Give me the KO, please. Oh, Lord. We're going to Leer. We're going to Leer, and we're going to try to land... a Draco onto the Tornadus. The reason I'm Leering is... The fake out from Berserker could be more than enough to get rid of the horsey now. Look at that thing. Man. Look, look at this thing, man. How is this thing fair? Oh, Lord. This thing's going to be plus two now. We have to get rid of this thing. It's going to go for Icy Wind. This thing is sitting at plus two now. Oh my goodness. I need them not to have protect. Let this fake out go through and I need fake out to pick up the KO here. I really need this fake out to pick up the KO. This is my only hope. Come on, Berserker. Fake out connects. Fake out doesn't pick up the KO. We needed to double into it. Behemoth Blade is going to get rid of Tornadus. But it's it's done. It's too late. Now, the only hope is that we outspeed. Only hope. <laughs> this thing is booster speed as well. Uh, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, like I said, the only hope is that we outspeed this, this Calyrex here. Maybe they're not fully speed invested. We're not plus... Of course you have Icy Wind, man. I can't with these little horses, man. Astro Prod's gonna pick up both KOs. That's just stupid. All right, we've got a battle against Andrew, and they've got uh, they've got Shadow Rider Calyrex. I think this is the team I just played as well. I can't play against the Shadow Rider Calyrex, man. That thing is too OP. That thing is just dumb. I'm gonna go same. I'm gonna go same four. 
I, I literally just played this team and I lost him. I lost to the horsey. Because, long story short, I don't think I'm going to put in that battle. The Shadow Isle Calyrex tarot into Fairy. We Terrasize into Steel with a Hydreigon. They went for the Astro Barrage, but we survived. We went for Flash Cannon, left it on like 10 HP. Same lead. Okay, so now this is mind games, because this is game two. This is game two. I know we survive a... Astro Barrage. We survive Astro Barrage, I know that. It's just a matter of do they terror or not. I could just hit up a nasty plot here. Do we go for the same thing? Do we go? Hmm. I'm gonna go Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go Dark Pulse. Yeah, they didn't terrasize this time. So what are you going for? Same thing, Astro Barrage. Okay, perfectly fine. We're gonna eat that up. Perfect. I might have to showcase the first battle just to show what actually happened. Dark Pulse comes out here, and now we pick up the one hit KO. Beautiful. Get out of here, Shadow Rider Calyrex. I, just, I hate that Pokemon. It's just too good. Way too good. This is mine. Is I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to put this. I'm gonna have to put these battles in. The lost and the win. Um, they have this guy now. We have fake out pressure, so we can just fake out. And do we terror flash cannon? Um. You know, I'm just gonna go. Flash cannon to Tornadus. We're gonna pick out the Okie Dogie. They're gonna oblique win. Double connects. But we both survive. And we're just gonna chip up some damage onto the Tornadus. We do almost half. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. They're just going to look to go for a Drain Punch here. I'm going to Protect. And I'm going to come in with Tornadus. That way we can set up Tailwind. The following turn. And then we should have some type of Speed Control. For at least a turn or two. But we do have to get rid of the um, Tornadus first. Like I said, I think Bleak Wind plus Drain Punch. And then the Drain Punch into the High Dragon slot. They know what my Terra is. They know I'm Terra Steel, so they're going to Drain Punch for sure there. It's, just, it's their safest play. So Tornadus can soak that up. And then next turn, we can go for a Tailwind. Max their speed. And then if they KO my Berserker here, that's fine. We get to swap in into Zacian or we get to swap into High Dragon here. So not a bad play. We're going to protect without Berserker. Just going to be Icy Wind. Okay. Icy Wind is slightly annoying. Because that actually hurts. And then there's a Drain Punch. Which also hurts, man. We're 
We're gonna get some little bit more leftovers here with Berserker. We're just gonna throw an Iron Head into the Tornadus and go for Tailwind. Max speed and maybe look to get rid of this Tornadus just to avoid them setting up another Tailwind after their Tailwind runs up, which I think this should be their last turn of Tailwind. So if we could KO here, that'd be ideal. But I don't think Berserker has it in its locker. Alright, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up, Andrew. We got things to do. We got places to be. We got... Terra. We have Terra. Probably the Okie Dogie, yeah. It's a straight dark. I have to play rough. On Zashin. We're going to get a Tailwind. We're going to go for Iron Head onto the Tornadus. We're not going to outspeed. I see he was going to miss on Berserker. It was funny enough. Drink. They go for the Drain Punch on it. On the Berserker. Fair enough. Their Tailwind is up. They're just going to go for Tailwind now. So. We just come in with Zacian. Do you have Protect with Okie Dogie? Not sure. But I'm just going to go Behemoth Blade and Bleak Wind. Safest play. My turn on is outspeeds with Cover Cloak, so we can't get any speed drops. And then Zacian outspeeds both of these guys in Tailwind. And even if the Okie Dokie protects here, it's perfectly fine. Follow no, no protect. And no Tailwind, so Behemoth Blade comes out here onto the Okie Dokie. Does massive damage. Doesn't pick up the KO. Bleak ones, who are you going to miss on? You're double missing. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're going to U-turn. We really double miss with Tornadus. And they're going to go for Drain Punch, right? Maybe the Iron Bundle. That's their last mod. Booster Speed. You should still high horsepower. Ouch. We have two more turns of Tailwind. Listen, we just go Behemoth Blade onto the bundle. And we try to land this Bleak Wind here. Zashin should be faster here, right? 200, yeah. Okay. So, if Behemoth Blade is enough to pick up this KO, Bleak Wind should be enough to pick up the KO on Okie Dogie. All right, Behemoth Blade comes onto the Iron Bundle. Give me the KO. Beautiful. And now, Bleak Wind's gonna outspeed. All we need to do is connect. We connect, beautiful, and that picks up the KO. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plays. All right, we lost game one. We win game two. This is pretty fun. I wish we could do more like best of three battles here. That would be so much fun. The last mall Tornadus, they can't do anything. And we just go for Behemoth Blade. This team was actually super, super sick. Like I had a lot of fun with this team. Zashin is just broken. But you know who's even more broken? The little horsey. Shadow Rider Calyrex is just way too broken. Like, that thing is just going to ruin the game. It can outspeed everyone and anything. But GG's. Very well played. Got our final dub. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Steely Spirit Berserker plus Zashin with Behemoth Blade. Hydreigon and Heatran with Flash Cannon team is complete. And Steely Spirit is actually really nice. I want to find out what the percentages of boost that it gives to the ally steel type moves. But that, I felt that boost. Like, that boost with Flash Cannon on Hydreigon and Heatran was significant. And with the Behemoth Blade on Zacian. Zacian was picking up KOs with Behemoth Blade on Pokemon that was not very effective too. Like, that's just dumb. But overall, this team did really good. 
really fantastic. Berserker is a really good supportive mod. We had some really good battles. And yeah, really sick team. You guys should try it out. Loads of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.